it can be sometimes emotion sometimes it is a uh, dressing style sometimes intelligence sometimes physique so uh, these different aspects define an individual so when you search uh, uh, this is a very simplest definition for personality. Personality is the unique pattern of trace of servant, the examiner for the practical and all. You have to do, I think uh, there are various tests uh, regarding the personality you have to do in the practical session. So when the examiner asks, what is, can you give a definition for personality? So th you can uh, you can say this simple definition personality it is the unique pattern of traits so when you search for the definition you can see um, that uh, the term personality has been defined in many ways mm -hmm. so but uh, this uh, you can follow this definition and next is <clears throat> when you talk about the personality now let us go to the uh, other thing that is the characteristic of personality so what are the characteristics of personality so when we talk about the characteristics mainly uh, it's divided into four characteristics that is consistency then psychological and physiological characteristics behavior behaviors and action then multiple expression so uh, consistency so first we will look what is consistency what do you mean by consistent are you consistent in your behavior behavior wise are you consistent so here consistency means oh, yes answer any answer okay consistency means uh, then uh, that is uh, someone who is consistent hmm, always behaves in the same way they know how to behave whatever be the situation in all the situations they behave in a similar way so consistency means uh, or when we say that when a person is who is consistent always behave in the same way that means they exhibit some regularity in their behavior so regularity in the behavior that is very important so there is a general there is generally a recognizable order and regularity to behavior essentially people act in the same way or similar ways in a variety of situations so that means uh, once again i'll repeat that is someone who is consistent always behaves in the same way that is the meaning of consistency that is they exhibit some regularity in the Behavior. That is, if I extra prompt, and then I extra probably that is, short term, short term. They know how to regulate their emotion in certain situations. Whatever be the situation, they know uh, which type of emotion I have to express, or in what way I have to behave in front of this people. So that means uh, they exhibit some regularity in their behaviors. Uh, so they are consistent. Uh, means uh, they are all they always behave in the same way. So that is about the consistency. Then next is the psychological and physiological. So psychological and uh, psychological factors. Uh, what are the psychological factors in the personality? Psychological factors. For example, a behavior, emotion, the thinking pattern, memory, uh, all these things uh, we can uh, call as the psychological factors. Then uh, the physiological or biological factors. What do you mean by the physiological or biological factors? That means uh, the uh, just I mentioned as I mentioned now the physique, uh, then uh, your health, uh, then. Uh, uh, heredity genes all these factors we can call as the physiological factors so when we talk about the characteristics of personality the psychological construct or uh, as sorry psychological as well as the physiological construct they play an important role in our personality or they affect the personality they have a direct impact on the personality then uh, next is the behavior and action. So behavior and action, uh, these are these two are related because a behavior, it is it usually comes under psychology. Uh, so behavior and action means how we respond to our environment and surroundings. So what is behavior? What do you mean by behavior? Can you give a very simple uh, explanation for behavior? Hmm? Behavior. 
suppose in a particular event uh, particular sorry situation how we act that we call it as the behavior so how we respond to our environment or surroundings or and then uh, the next point is what are the causes for a particular type of behavior so why in a particular situation why you are behaving in a particular way what is the uh, cause for that particular type of behavior so these also can be considered as a characteristic of personality so personality not only influences how we move and respond to our environment that means how we respond to our environment or surrounding that is very important at the same time what are the causes for a particular type of behavior so these two aspects the uh, behavior and action these two aspects have some direct have some impact on our personality then the multiple expression so we can say that uh, the personality it is uh, not only reflected in our behavior but also it can be seen in our thoughts uh then uh, feelings social interactions etc so uh, when we talk about the behavior to some extent uh, behavior means uh, it can be it is displayed or we can uh, observe that behavior we can see it is an overt behavior something which we can observe directly behavior uh, so personality it is uh, reflected not only in our behavior but it it can be reflected uh, in our thoughts uh, feelings then close relationships social interactions etc so that is uh, that is why it is referred as multiple expressions so my, what what do you mean by multiple expression that means personality it is not only reflected in our behavior but it can it is reflected in our thoughts feelings Uh, uh, emotions social interactions etc etc so uh, these are the four points uh, we, which uh, we have to keep in our mind when we talk about the characteristics of personality so uh, once again i'll make it clear that consistency means what is consistency someone who is consistent they always behave in the same way so that means they exhibit some regularity in the behavior then next is the psychological and physiological factors that also have an impact on our personality then behavior and actions that that means two points are important that is how we respond to our environment or surroundings and at the same time we have to find out or uh, uh, when we talk about the personality we have to um, get an answer what is the cause for a particular type of behavior then last one that is the multiple expression so multiple expression means it is not only the behavior but also the thoughts feelings close relationship and other social interactions okay hope this slide it is clear so in this slide the most important points are uh, so first uh, the definition for the personality then what is the uh, meaning of the word persona then characteristics is it clear so here traits nu parayanathu adu adana etum koodalayittu ningal padikkanda because traits nu parayana it is an important term uh, when we talk about the uh, personality trait means what do, what do you mean by trait it is a distinguishing characteristic or a characteristic and distinguishing or quality or in other words we can say that it is a characteristics in which one person differ from other <coughs> so next is the next topic that is about the development of <coughs> personality so when we talk about the uh, development of personality um so the study shows that uh, the personality emerges early and continues to develop across the life span so personality uh, we can say that the personality it emerges uh, right from the beginning of our life and it progresses or it uh, develops through the various developmental phase so uh, when we uh, when we talk about the life span we pass through various developmental stages mm? and each developmental stage uh, um, um, uh, when we uh, have you studied the uh, life span approach or developmental psychology yes padichirunno paper padichirunno developmental psychology 
yes appa ah, adinathu ningal padichittunde we have to uh, in our in our life span we pass through various developmental phases le aa developmental phases le uh, emotional development is the social development the physical development so many development happens hmm? similarly when we talk about the personality also uh, uh, we have to uh, during the it uh, uh, that is uh, it emerges right from the beginning of our life and what happens it progresses or we can say that it develops through the various developmental phases uh, because nammal eppozhu oru infancy thottu ingane oru developmental phase pass cheyidondirikkana appa erickson de ka erickson de theory ka padichappa i hope you have studied that so um, so many development happens and just like other development also the personality also develop in the uh, human being and uh, it progresses or we can say that it develops through various <coughs> developmental phase so uh, many factors there are many factors which influence the development of personality for example the environment in which a person lives that is very important uh the surrounding factors all these things are very important then uh, similarly genetics heredity uh then uh, again ordinal position what do you mean by ordinal position ordinal position hmm? what is the meaning ordinal position ജനറ്റിക്സിറ്റി Uh, when we talk about the development of personality uh, so in your textbook in your study material also it is defined that or it is uh, uh, the division is made like this the biological factors uh, then um, psychological factors and environmental factors appa personality the division ningalde study material le ingane moonu aite divide cheyidittunde so now let us look uh, what are the what do you mean by the biological factors the biological factors we can call as the physical factors or uh, the physiological factors idellam physical allenge physiological factors biological factors nu parane idellam same aanu so when we talk about the biological factors the first thing is that biological allengil it is something regarding your physique nammalde sharira prakrutiye kurichittulla oru study aanu avada varunathu biological factors so we can say that it is something related to our body build uh, so here in the slide i have written uh, ectomorph endomorph mesomorph so it is something regarding the physique so uh, it is actually idu ee idu njan ippa thanne ang paranju povuana endha nu vechiyan idu oru theory aayittu ningalku varunnundu so uh, the points which i am uh, going to mention now it is a theory so uh, in between um, it is better for you to uh, write the lecture notes also otherwise you will get confused mm, because it is not easy for me to include all these things in the slide so i made only the points only points are there in the slide so when we talk about the body build so first it is the sheldon's classification of personality so here it is mm. so when uh, for uh, when we talk about the approaches to personality ee oru point padikkumbolum aanu idinathu varunathu but it is better you study it now so here have you seen the name sheldens kando yes so that is called the sheldens typology or we can say that sheldens classification of personality so um, when we talk about the body build uh, sheldon uh he classified the people according to uh, three basic body types or we uh, we can say that somato types so mato no chandana somato something related to the body uh, so the these body types determine our personality that is sheldon classified the people into three types ectomorph endomorph mesomorph and 
this classification is based on the body types and uh, according to Sheldon, he mentioned that these body types determine our personality. That is Sheldon said that there is a body type, a physique, and a physique personality. So now let us look at uh, what is... Uh, what is the difference between these three? First, uh, first I'll mention uh, ectomorph. Ectomorph means, um, and so we are talking about the body types. I like physique, body type, physique, So ectomorph means, uh, what will be their physique? Hmm? They are usually tall. Hmm? Tall, then thin, <coughs> tall, thin then poor muscles or we can say that they are delicate people appo ectomorph nu parney engane ullorana vale avare physique nokki kaynal avare nalla height undagum thin a irikkum muscles athra developed aayittavalla so we can say that they have poor muscles or in other words altogether they are endana delicate is it clear so that is the physic or the body type of ectomorph. Whose classification is this? Sheldon's classification. Sheldon, Sheldon ectomorph classifies the ectomorph means that their, their physic is very uh, when we talk about the physic, they are very tall, they have poor muscles, uh, they are very thin. Uh, Hmm? So uh, that we call as the that Sheldon classified as the ectomorph. Apa, or group of people Apa, orida, what will be their personality characteristics? Just now I mentioned about the physics. So what will be the personality characteristics? They are considered as brainy. Brainy means little bit intellectual. At the same time, they are artistic and introvert. intellectual level They are artistic. At the same time, they are usually uh, introverted. What do you mean by introverted or introversion? And then, what is the meaning of introversion? Quiet, non-active. Uh, like withholding to self. Yes, uh, they prefer to be in their own world mm? or they have poor socialization. Mm? Usually they will be socially withdrawn. They doesn't like to mingle with others. Adana, introvert. What is the opposite of introversion? Introversion. Extrovert. Opposite. Extra extroversion. Extrovert. Yes, very good. Extroversion. So, uh, ectomorphin remember. So, uh, initially their physique will be they are tall, thin, poor muscles and altogether they are delicate. Uh, when we talk about the personality characteristics, they are we can say that they are little bit brainy, uh, they are artistic and at the same time they are introverted. Is it clear? Three months later, ectomorph, uh, is it clear? Yes. Then, uh, then uh, next uh, categorization is about entomorph. Entomorph means they are persons with, can you... Uh, Guess what type of personality? Entomorph. Entomorph. It is the near opposite. And ectomorph is the near opposite. So, what will be their physique? Means, uh, how will be their body? Fat. Fat. Yes, very fat. good. Fat. They are round. They have a soft body. And we can say that they are fatty or little bit plumby. Mm body -hmm. endomorph. Uh, that is uh, they are round, soft body or uh, uh, fatty or plumby. Then what about the that is the body type. So the other part we are, uh, we are studying about the personality. So what about the endomorph personality characteristics? Mm -hmm. Just the opposite of ectomorph. Can you say? Uh, extrovert in the characteristics and the can 
so that will be the personality characteristic of endomorph that means they are usually very social they are affectionate uh, they like to be in the company of others and other thing is that they are fond of eating and uh, usually they will they uh, they are very jovial hmm? so that is the personality characteristic of who endomorph മനസ്സിലായോ അപ്പൊ എൻഡോമോഫിന്റെ വോട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദർ ഫിസിക് ദേ ഹാവ് എ റൗണ്ട് ബോഡി റൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് സോഫ്റ്റ് ബോഡി റൗണ്ട് എന്ന് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് പൊക്കം കുറച്ച് കുറവായിരിക്കും ഉരുണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ശരീര പ്രകൃതിയായിരിക്കും ചില വണ്ണമുള്ളവരെ കാണാറല്ലേ ഇങ്ങനെ ഉരുണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ആ ഒരു പ്രകൃതിയായിരിക്കും ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ടുഗദർ ദർ ഫാറ്റി സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഫിസിക് ആൻഡ് വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ദേ ആർ extrovert uh, and the characteristics include they are very affectionate uh, they like to be in the company of others that means they are social and they are fond of comfort they they are fond of eating uh, then altogether a uh, jovial aitulla or personality irikku so that is about the endomorph so next <coughs> the third classification that is mesomorph what do you mean by mesomorph it is something related to in the area muscles mm? so their body build it will be uh, somewhat similar to that of an athlete mm? or uh, can you imagine what is the um, athlete in the how, uh, how strong body body build engine uh, irike hello um all of you please uh, mute the mic in the chat okay the disturbance varunnunde porthunnullathu appa answer parayum allathu ponnu mic on off cheyidu vechinal nannayirunnu so uh, okay tell me uh, what about the mesomorph so mesomorph is the healthy body healthy body ana uh, that is similar to that of an athlete so that means we can say that they are masculine or they prefer any avarude activities nokki kanyalo or when we talk about the personality okay so uh, when we talk about the personality they always prefer vigorous activities hmm? because uh, uh, their uh, body build it is similar to that of an athlete do you uh, hope you know the at athlete means they are always energetic or physically they will be active so we can say that um, mesomorph uh, they have they are always engaged in some vigorous activities or we can say that uh, they are filled with energy at the same time they are very courage courageous and assertive also mm? so these are the Uh, personality characteristics of a mesomorph up and then vigorous activity they are always filled with energy they are very assertive what is the what is the meaning of assertiveness what is the meaning of assertiveness assertiveness and then ഒരു നോ എന്ന് പറയേണ്ട സ്ഥലത്ത് നോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കാൻ അവർക്ക് അറിയാം അതേപോലെ അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ദേ ആർ വെരി കറേജിയസ് ഓൾസോ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് മിസോം ഓഫ് സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വേ ഷെൽഡൻ കാറ്റഗറൈസ്ഡ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓർ ദ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ടൈപ്സ് ഇൻ ടു ത്രീ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എക്ടോമോർഫ് എൻഡോമോർഫ് ആൻഡ് മിസോമോർഫ് ഇസ് എ ക്ലിയർ അപ്പൊ എക്ടോമോർഫ് മീൻസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഇൻട്രോവേർട്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇൻട്രോവേർട്ട് ഇത്ര പഠിച്ചാൽ ഓർത്താൽ മതി ഇൻട്രോവേർട്ട് Hmm? so what are the characteristics of an introvert so it is very easy for you to write then endomorph means uh, they have the possess the characteristic of a extrovert so you have to you know what are the characteristic of a um, intro uh, sorry extrovert so that you can write and mesomorph they are uh, similar to that of an athlete athlete in the characteristics and the care again apa uh, so these are the three classification and who classified this who made this classification it is sheldon 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 the classification another mm? and again uh, he used a certain other words to uh, define this ectomorph endomorph and mesomorph like a uh, viseratonia then somatotonic and uh, cerebrotonia so that uh, that is all there in the textbook study material okay so and another important thing is that uh, sheldon conducted uh, his studies mainly on criminals hmm? uh, so ipo ee ingena or classification nadathanennundengi we have to do a lot of research work so sheldon conducted his uh, research on criminals 
and he found that uh, it's a question for you now you have to answer he found that most of the criminals they belong to which category criminals belong to which category Misomorph. can you see yes Misomorph. exactly Mis yes very good mesomorph so and uh, so sheldon conducted his studies on criminals and uh, he found that uh, the criminals most of the criminals were mesomorph definitely uh, they need a masculine uh, structure mm? structure it should be masculine then uh, they need uh, they have to be very active courage the kondengilana a person can be a criminal nor ne ra or like aagan pattullu okay so next it is about the so uh, the clear i love so this theory we can call it as the uh, somatotype theory pay na idu ivide parayumba so i have to i think uh, i'll mention one more uh, category one more classification uh, based on body type is also the that is kreshmer k r e t s c h m e r that is kreshmer's or ernest kreshmer's classification so this classification it is also based on the body type that is here kreshmer's typology kanda ee kreshmer de classification kudi njan ipo paranj ange povana so uh, first is sheldon's typology now we are talking about the kreshmer's classification so the kreshmer's classification means uh, so uh, he again identified uh, three characteristics so ipo idinathu nammal ectomorph endomorph mesomorph parna pole thanne so kreshma he made a classification that is classification mainly uh, three types of classification based on body characteristics so first is the picnic hmm? picnic p y k n i c p y k n i c that is the first classification picnic second is athletic a t h l e t i c athletic and third is aesthetic so what are the three classification first is uh, you please uh, write the lecture notes picnic p y k n i c picnic uh, second is athletic third is aesthetic so i'll uh, give an uh, give a, um, i'll give you explanation regarding what is picnic so uh, first uh, what are the what will be the body characteristic of a picnic person so here j here just like uh, an endomorph uh, the picnic person the body characteristic here also the fat will be prominent that is the person will be of a fatty type then uh, he usually he will be short and uh, he will have a round body and overall we can say that he is very fun loving so these are the main characteristic of a picnic person p y k n i c picnic hmm? and uh, when we talk about the, this is the body build then when we talk about the personality characteristics we can say that they are social uh, they like to help others and altogether we can say that they possess the all the characteristics of an extrovert adana picnic nu parana appo picnic endana here also picnic when we talk about the body characteristics fat will be prominent or uh, the person will be a fatty type uh, short then a uh, round body and uh, we can say that they are a fun loving people mm? and when we talk about the personality characteristics they are social uh, they have a tendency to help others all together we can say that extrovert mm? so idinathe any or characteristics parayanad endha nu cheyya these are people who are more prone to suffer from mdp app ingena ee characteristics ullavarku they have a tendency to suffer from mdp what is mdp what is mdp manic depressive psychosis kattittundo mania depression psychiatric disorder hello panic attack we have had a uh, panic attack is different uh, mdp means manic depressive psychosis because a mania what have you heard of mania yes Ah, it is a psychiatric yes, ah, a psychiatric illness. What are the symptoms of a manic person? 
he or she no, might be no, over violent uh, no uh, don't say violent violent in parayam namaku pettilla the what will be the predominant mood in a manic person predominant mood hmm? aggressive Usually, not not aggressive not aggressive no uh, sad um, uh, means that is uh, active Obsession. 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 Allah. Uh, that is a predominant mood. No, chuna happiness or ecstasy, euphoria. Uh, have you heard of this term? Hmm. ये टाइम सब कर देते हैं। ये और स्टेज लेके पहुंच रहा है ना। We say that uh, the person is manic. He is over talkative. Uh, he is highly active. He always uh, having some grandiose ideas. Then uh, uh, sleep disturbances will be the. Uh, sometimes the person will have high appetite. Or overall we can say that उन्हें elated mood ले रही है। So that th that is the basic symptom of a manic person. On the other hand, uh, if a person is depressive what will be what are the prominent uh, characteristics or unhappy. what will be the predom predominant mood will be unhappiness namale hmm? palapulum when we go to the workplace we often say that i am not in a good mood i feel so depressed today so this is a common say so what is uh, that here depression means what the predominant mood will be unhappiness so he will be socially withdrawn he doesn't like to be in the company of others then sleep disturbances will be the uh, he doesn't like to do anything that means he will be inactive so these are the uh, major symptoms of a depressive person so uh, what uh, um, sheldon uh, sorry krishma uh, says that uh, people uh, Uh, who have the picnic type picnic type no remember what will be the body characteristics uh, fatty type i think and uh, uh, when we talk about the personality characteristics they are very social and helping others or or they are more of an extrovert type so these people are more prone to suffer from ndp so uh, for this uh, how he came to the conclusion because he conducted uh, various studies on mental patients and found that certain body types are associated with particular types of mental disorders but chela body type ullor particular body built ullorku they are more more prone to certain types of diseases is it clear so next is the athlete apo uh, we are talking about the body built so uh, three types of uh, body will built that is um, krishma identified that is picnic that is over then athlete athlete just like the same characteristic of a mesomorph they are healthy there will be a balance between the muscles and bone development that means the muscles are almost are well developed they have the adequate bone development uh, and uh, what will be the personality characteristic Uh, we know that a person who is have the athletic personality they have uh, they are very energetic at the same time they are optimistic and uh, they can very easily adjust to any situation whatever be the situation they will adapt to that particular situation so that are the basic characteristic of an athlete mm? then next is the aesthetic aesthetic means again it is uh, thin lean Uh, tall the muscles or the bone development it is not that up to the mark because they have uh, very uh, weak muscles and the bone development that is also very weak so th these are the characteristic of an aesthetic and what about the personality characteristic of people who come under the aesthetic category they are less social they are shy then they are pessimistic and always they prefer to be alone that means we can say that to some extent they they, uh, they are somewhat similar to an introvert okay apo uh, these are the uh, uh, main things uh, we ha you have to study when you talk about the uh, body build body build uh, sheldon's classification that is over and also the krishma's classification so krishma classified it into three categories so that include either uh, kana picnic then athletic and aesthetic type so now when you go through the text uh, it will be clear to you so now we are actually dealing with the biological factors so uh, biological factors when we talk about the biological factors the first factor that is body build that is over then <clears throat> uh, 
next it is about the physical attractiveness physical attractiveness uh, that i uh, mentioned in the introductory part that is if a person is uh, very attractive or good looking or uh, suppose if a person knows how to communicate uh, with others or how he knows how to interact with others then also we have a tendency to categorize that person is uh, having a good personality but your characteristics that means very attractive uh, uh, then uh, and if a, suppose if a person is less attractive uh, he is not good looking he, he is an, uh, having an unpleasant face then how will we categorize that type of that group of people having a less personality or no good personality so we can say that the physical attractiveness that also plays a very important role when we talk about the personality that next is the homeostasis what do you mean by homeostasis homeostasis means some equilibrium hmm? we have to maintain it is very necessary to maintain an equilibrium between the external and internal environment hmm? so what do you mean by the uh, internal environment here the internal environment means uh, the temperature normal temperature then the blood sugar level blood pressure then uh, proper water balance so if any of these conditions if there is a uh, there is if the person is not able to maintain a balance between any of this condition then what happens this then uh, definitely an equilibrium this equilibrium will be there and uh, it will uh, cause a disturbance in the homeostasis so what will be the result this affect the personality of the person Mm. Uh, because if uh, suppose if the blood sugar level that is it comes in a very low level some people get irritated or show some disturbances behavioral wise also disturbances can be noticed so we can say that the internal environment internal environment like blood pressure uh, water level in the body then uh, blood pressure um, temperature all these internal elements these are some of the internal environment and this also affect the personality of a person that means if any disequilibrium exist happens in the if there is any variation happens in the internal environment then the personality will be affected it can affect sometimes directly or sometimes indirectly then uh, next uh, it is about the physical development as you all know that uh, the physical development suppose if a person is uh, handicapped hmm, if any physical defect is the definitely it will uh, be the it will be uh, very clearly reflected in the personality because here the alfred uh, adler he developed a theory on organ inferiority so i am not mentioning it here so uh, so in this theory it is clear that if any physical defect is the the person experience some sort of inferiority complex and it will affect the personality then next is the health condition so as you know that here it already mentioned health condition that also uh, <clears throat> affect the personality development <clears throat> then next is the psychological factors so when we talk about the psychological factors the major psychological factors it include intellectual determinants then emotional determinants self disclosure and aspirations and achievements so uh, intelligence means what if a person is intelligent then he or she will be able to make any adjustment with the environment suppose so what do you mean by intelligence intelligence endana intelligence nu arna endana hmm what is the impact of intelligence on personality hmm endana intelligence um personality in tamilulla relation what is the relationship between intelligence and personality uh, that means intelligence uh, is cognitive ability uh, uh, ah cognitive what do you mean by cognitive ability cognition means uh, it is the higher mental process so higher mental process means uh, what all things comes under this higher mental process learning memory then uh, problem solving decision making intelli thinking. intelligence thinking. thinking all these comes under 
cognition so cognition in simple words means the higher mental process so uh, so my question is how the intelligence affect the personality that means if suppose if a person is highly in highly not highly if a person is intelligent then the main thing is that he knows how to control his emotions Mm -hmm. he know how to regulate the emotions on various situations uh, similarly he know how to behave or how to act in a particular situation uh, he can easily uh, take decision or uh, I, I, I would like to say that uh, sport decisions that he can take and similarly the most important thing is that he know how to make adjustment in uh, various in the various phases of life or in various situations so uh, if a person is intelligent then that person will be able to make many adjustment in the environment or in the life so uh, in the life we have to make uh, uh, so many judgments so he he will be able to make correct judgments then uh, um, when he come come across with the problematic solution then he know a problematic situation then he know how to make the uh, correct decision so decision making strategies he very clearly know how to do it so uh, we can say that if a person is intelligent he or she will be able to make adjustments in the environment so that is very important again uh, uh, as i mentioned when we talk about the emotion the person knows how to make uh, how to um, control the emotions or how to regulate the emotions so uh, that means he know he is very well aware of the emotions so then uh, also at the same time the person will be able to maintain a good interpersonal relationship that is very important in life hmm? so all these things uh, comes under the psychological factors uh, then uh, similarly self disclosure um, self disclosure it is considered as as uh, basic to mental health such and such disclosure helps to bring about healthy personality pattern which is a guarantee for a social desirably and favorable reactions from others then again aspirations and achievement that is also a major component because we have to aspire and at the same time um, we have to achieve something then only we will be a we have we will have some personal growth so these can be considered as the psychological factors so when we talk about the psychological factors intellectual determinants then emotional dis de determinants self disclosure aspirations and achievement these are the four categories which are uh, mentioned in your study material okay so uh, uh, these are the uh, various uh, factors which affect the development of personality then uh, when we talk about the environmental factors it include uh, social accept acceptance social deprivation educational factors family determinants then emotional climate of home and uh, uh, earlier i mentioned about the ordinal position then size of the family so uh, all these things are very simple uh, you just go through the study materials i am not explaining it in detail so overall we can say that the personality development it depends on the physical determinants then psychological determinants environmental determinants so it's a combination of or, or we can say that all these factors affect the development of personality then <laughs> then uh, just like i mentioned about the trait uh, similarly this term is also very important that is temperament that is also very important when we talk about the personality so what do you mean by temperament temperament hmm? what is temperament temperament means uh, it is a behavioral style we can say that it is a behavioral style or it is an aspect of personality hmm? uh it's a behavioral style that is how a person behaves in a particular situation uh so all uh, behave uh, we know that all of us uh, behave in a uh, behave differently in a particular situation so temperament means it is an aspect of personality or it is a behavioral style and it refers to how a person behaves in a particular situation other in a particular situation um or you trip us for example suppose uh, uh, when exam comes some a category of students who take it as a very easy thing but uh, some students uh, they find it very difficult or they pass through a very stressful phase during that uh, during when they face the nxm 
so uh, how a person that means uh, so that means uh, temperament means they are more prone to a uh, prone to anxiety so it is a behavioral style or it is the how of the behavior so that means it is how a person behaves in a particular situation now uh, adana temperament parinathu then <clears throat> so uh, temperament it refers to a personality traits that determine how someone reacts to the world a person's temperament style plays a role in how they behave and interact with other people and within the world then next is this is an important topic uh, this uh, mention about the approaches to personality when we talk about the approaches to personality it can be divided into uh, two types that is uh, type and tray approach so type approach is the tray approaches that these are the two approaches to study personality then uh, now let us look uh, what do we, what is uh, type approaches type uh, type approaches or otherwise we can call it as a type theory so a personality type it uh, refers to the psychological classification of different types of people so uh, people are different so a personality type it uh, type here uh, the, uh, the word is type okay so this type it refers to the what it refers to the psychological classification of different type of people appo nammal nerthe padichu body uh, body type allege body built physique vechitta sheldon uh, classified people into different types so here also type is simply a class of individuals who has some uh, common collection of characteristics so that means it means the people are classified into different types or categories and uh, on what basis they are classified they are classified um, and that means uh, they are classified or a class of individuals who have some common collection of characteristics because they are classified based on some category or some sorry some cat characteristics so that is people are classified into categories according to the characteristics they share for example some people are uh, prefer to be happy always they show the tendency to talk uh, talk to others uh, they are outgoing out outgoing uh, they are uh, jovial etc etc so we put them in a particular type called extrovert so here i had uh, put it uh, the example here that is some people prefer to be happy always they show the tendency to talk always they are outgoing then or jovial uh, and we categorize them as a particular type called extrovert there are some other category who um are uh, just the opposite of the characteristics mentioned here and we categorize them as an introvert okay so these are the uh, this this is the example so based on uh, pe people can be classified uh, into categories according to the characteristics they share ipo nammle class le thanne oru i don't know how many teachers are the ipo class le oru karyangal cheyina samayathum when we uh, conduct some uh, uh, activities hmm? part part some people, students are good in singing so we put it in the music club suppose when we form uh, certain clubs in the school or college uh, uh, situation so what happens those who are interested in music they come in one category same times those who are interested in dancing uh, they are uh, they come in other category in the dance club and so there are some students who are interested in sports activities so we form a sports club uh, club and we put in uh, put it put those people in those in that category so here what happens we are classifying the students into categories depending on the characteristics they share so that is the type theory so type approach means it is simply 
a class of or type is a uh, type is simply a class of individuals who has some common collection of characteristics so here when we talk about the type approach uh, the typologies or the type theories it was uh, made by uh, as i mentioned uh, sheldon kreshmer and hippocrates one more category is the hippocrates category appa hmm? typology type theory aradekkana varunathu sheldon's inde sheldon's category is there then uh, kreshmer's category and pinna aradeyana hippocrates appa uh, uh, hope you remember the sheldon's typology hmm? ectomorph endomorph uh, mesomorph and what about the kreshmer's kreshmer's typology again three classification do you remember just now i mentioned picnic picnic <laughs> ആയുർവേദത്തില് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടല്ലോ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ആൾക്കാര് തിരിച്ചേക്കുന്നത് ആയുർവേദ വാദം പിത്തം കപം കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ ആ അതേപോലെ തന്നെയാണ് ഹിപ്പോക്രൈറ്റ്സിന്റെ പറഞ്ഞേക്കുന്നത് സോ ഹിപ്പോക്രൈറ്റ്സ് ആക്ച്വലി ഹി അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ഹിം ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഫോർ സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ടെമ്പറമെന്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ടെമ്പറമെന്റ്സ് ആർ അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ഫോർ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് ഇവിടെ ഞാൻ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അതായത് ഹിപ്പോക്രൈറ്റ്സ് പറയുന്ന എന്താണ് ഹിപ്പോക്രൈറ്റ്സ് ഹി ക്ലാസിഫൈഡ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ഓർ ബിഹേവിയർ ഓർ ഹി സീസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ആർ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഫോർ സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ടെമ്പറമെന്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ടെമ്പറമെന്റ്സ് ആർ അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് ടെമ്പറമെന്റ്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ എന്താണ് ഹൗ വി ബിഹേവ് ഇൻ എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വി കോൾ ആസ് ദ ടെമ്പറമെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഈ ടെമ്പറമെന്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഹൗ വി ബിഹേവ് ഇൻ എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ദീസ് ആർ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഫോർ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് പ്രസന്റ് ഇൻ അവർ ബോഡി അതായത് നമ്മളുടെ ബോഡിയിൽ ഫ്ലൂ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഈ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് അതിന്റെ പ്രപ്പോഷൻ അനുസരിച്ചിട്ടാണ് ദ വേ വി ബിഹേവ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് ഹി കോൾ ആസ് ദ ഹ്യൂമർ ഹ്യൂമർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് സോ യെല്ലോ ബൈൽ ഈസ് ദർ ദെൻ ബ്ലഡ് ബ്ലാക്ക് ബൈൽ ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലെം അപ്പോ ഇതിനകത്ത് എനിക്ക് എല്ലാം എനിക്ക് അറിയില്ല ഈ ഫ്ലെം എന്ന് മീൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞില്ല നേരത്തെ വാദം പിത്തം കപം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പോലെ ഫ്ലെം ഇസ് ദ കപം ദെൻ മറ്റതിന്റെ എനിക്ക് കറക്റ്റ് എനിക്ക് അറിയില്ല ഏതാന്ന് അപ്പൊ എനിവേ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് വി കോൾ ആസ് ദ ഹ്യൂമർ ഹ്യൂമർ മീൻസ് ഇൻ സിമ്പിൾ വേർഡ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് ആർ കോൾഡ് Uh, uh, um, body fluid determine the temperament or the how we behave in a particular situation um, so this theory suggests that there are four fundamental personality types or four uh, types of temperament that is any idana humor ennu parayanad adallengi body fluid naalen undu ini ഇത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് എന്താണ് പറഞ്ഞേക്കുന്നത് ദിസ് തിയറി സജസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദർ ആർ ഫോർ ഫണ്ടമെന്റൽ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ടൈപ്സ് ഓർ ഫോർ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ടെമ്പറമെന്റ് ഇതാണ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ടൈപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സാങ്ക്വിൻ കോളറിക് മെലങ്കോളിക് ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലമാറ്റിക് അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു ഹ്യൂമർ ഓർ ബോഡി ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്രസന്റ് ഇൻ in everybody's body and these uh, body fluid are responsible for this type of personality types or temperament so now let us look what are the characteristic features of a sanguine 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 means uh, only just uh, three uh, three words you have to remember that is a person who is uh, uh, having the personality type sanguine they ha- are enthusiastic then they are active and they are very social hmm appa avaru valare enthusiastic aayirikkum i am talking about this personality that is sanguine sanguine the personality type engane aayirikkum or characteristics endha aayirikkum they are very enthusiastic pin endana they are very active and they are very social so these are the characteristic features of a sanguine then next is the choleric choleric what what will be their personality characteristics 
so they exhibit certain characteristics like they are short tempered then uh, they easily get irritated hmm? and they are very fast so the main characteristic features are short tempered fast and irritable when they can short tempered fast and irritable are a choleric then the third is the melancholic melancholic means they are analytic uh, at the same time they are wise and quiet hmm? melancholic they are analytical when a situation comes in front of them they critically analyze everything and then only they will come to a conclusion or they make then only they will make some judgments so they are highly analytical so the people who behave like this you know we know that they are very wise and at the same time they are quiet they are not over talkative they are quiet so melancholic means analytical wise and quiet then next is the phlegmatic phlegmatic means they are the people who come under this category they are very relaxed they are peace loving or they we can say that they are peaceful so they are calm easy going and there will not be any emotional outburst so these are the uh, four uh, personality types mentioned by hippocrates sanguine once again i'll repeat sanguine what are the characteristic features personality types sanguine what are the characteristic features Enth enthusiastic active and social active and social then what about the choleric short tempered they are short tempered easily and fast okay very good so then what about the melancholic analytic wise analytic and, wise wise and, and quiet, quiet. Mm -hmm. so they are wise they are very critical at the same time they are quiet also then what about the phlegmatic type they are phlegmatic. peaceful calm easy going calm, easy going and there will not be any emotional outburst no, no. okay so these are the uh, different types of uh, uh, humor or in other words the body fluid like yellow yellow bile uh, then uh, blood uh, black bile and phlegm all this plays a very important role uh, in our behavior according to hippocrates is it clear so actually this is an hypocrite we can say we can consider it as an uh, as a historical perspective because it is about 2000 years back hmm. uh, but but now this theory is not that much applicable uh, but the Kirchmer's typology, Sheldon, Sheldon's typology, all these things you, sh you should know when we study the personality. So these are the basic things which, uh, which you should know. Then uh, again, uh, one more thing I would like to say that is uh, about um, when we talk about the type theory, again there are uh, type A personality as well as type B personality is there. Have you heard of type A personality and type B personality? Hmm? So yes. type A, these are two contrasting personality types. So it is uh, actually developed by two cardiologists and they proposed that certain types of personality are more prone to coronary heart disease. If a uh, person um, if a person is little bit fatty, he is more prone to cardiac uh, or coronary heart disease. Or attack varanula sadhideka fat title or kunda because fat deposit is there. But now the situation has changed. Ipa, uh, usually thin title or kana kudala ita korangudi kandu varanada. Mm? Uh, so um, when we talk about the type A and type B personality, these are two contrasting personality types and it was uh, developed by uh, two cardiologists Friedman and Rosenman okay uh, so he they developed uh, uh, I think uh, they have uh, uh, written one book called the type A behavior and your heart so it is based on the study uh, studies of personality characteristics on as I mentioned coronary heart disease now let us look uh, what is the personality type of um, type A personality? Type A personality. Type A personality. 
any idea type a personality so actually type a uh, people highly are, uh, uh, yes yes come on highly, highly human oriented person ah uh, yes pinne eh correct ana paranjolo competitive competitive to do work ah yes very good so you know it so type a uh, people are they we can say that they are workaholics so what will be the characteristic of a workaholic so they are very ambitious they are very competitive and they what about the time they give too much importance to the time that means they hate to waste time they won't uh, waste the time and uh, but uh, they are easily annoyed pettan irritated irritated means a or work cheyan pattillenge it will affect them hmm? Uh, that means uh, they are easily annoyed so they uh, always uh, feel a constant constant sense of pressure and uh, always have a strong tendency to do several things at it at once ella pettana 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 cheythu theerkanam nalla oru tendency avarku eppozhu undagarundu so uh, and uh, we can say that they find it very difficult to relax suppose if they are going for a vacation what uh, you know what they do they take the uh, work with them there are some people who are like this hmm? so we can call them as workaholics they are fully engaged in the work apo uh, the main the characteristic features include they are highly competitive they are very uh, ambitious uh, they doesn't want to waste their time if, even if they go for a vacation what what they will do they take the work with them because uh, they have a constant pressure or a constant um, they are under pressure pressure means uh, any or outside pressure or not it is a it is an internal pressure that means they feel a constant sense of pressure and because uh, they have a strong tendency to uh, do several things at once so that is why we say that uh, they feel a constant sense of pressure and uh, they uh, never find any time to relax are always doing one work or other so that that are the characteristics of a type a personality so type a personality is the type b personality this uh, so these are the two cardiologists who developed this uh, theory then uh, now let us look on what are the characteristic features of type b personality just the opposite uh, um what is they are easy going ah easy it tends to be easy going they seem to be relaxed all the time they prefer to be in a relaxed mood what about the anchor it is arend parnalum it won't affect them eh? because uh, they are not interested in doing any work they are non competitive then uh, they are less driven or a motive adonu undavilla enik evadengil ettipadanam angante chindagal onnu undavilla so those uh, type of people comes under type b personality that means they are not not competitive uh, they tend to be uh, easy going uh, anchor will be in the minimum level uh, they have no motivation or they are we can say that they are less driven and uh, most of the time they seem to be relaxed okay uh, so uh, this uh, fredman and um, rosenberg uh, they conducted so many studies under this area uh, under a huge population and uh, they st the study shows that there is a relationship between uh, type a personality type and hypertension Hmm? but type a personality type um uh, hypertension um tamile some relationship will be there what is the relationship can you say what will be the relationship or uh, we can say that uh, he conducted the studies and found that type a personality they are more prone to heart disease why it basic at the reason and there is because uh, they are always under stress because uh, they are high they are we, i mentioned that they are workaholics they are highly competitive they always uh, under they are always under pressure under pressure in the sense as they are competitive and ambitious uh, definitely they are under pressure that means increased job stress will be there and uh, they are uh, some some sort of social isolation will also be there because of this reason there are more chances to 
get some sort of heart disease. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Uh, main atola, type A, type B personality. So it was developed by two cardiologists who proposed that certain types of personality are more prone to coronary heart disease. Then next is about the what's the time now? Okay, next it is about the any um, either kuda the uh, a recent recent I love in Chella textbook killer so type C personality is also the um, then um, then another type of personality hardy personality type C means a lack of emotion not assert themselves then uh, they wants to pacify others. Uh, but the main item in your textbook only these two things are the upper so uh, then you refer some other textbook you can see uh, or some other site you can see the type C personality then hardy personality just for your information I mentioned but uh, you just have to concentrate on these two personality then next is the Carl Jung's personality type hmm? so uh, uh, Jung introduced one minute. Okay. So Jung introd first introduced the personality theory in his book called The Psychological Types. So here, uh, here he used in this uh, personality types, he used four psychological functions. Four psychological functions that is um, thinking and feeling. Thinking and feeling. That is thinking is one part, then uh, feeling is other part. That he together call as the rational function. So uh, some rationality is involved when we talk about the thinking and feeling. The next is the sensation and intuition. Sensation is one and intuition is the other. So uh, four psychological functions are the, that is thinking and feeling. But we say that four psychological functions. So first is thinking and feeling and we consider it as a rational function. And next is the sensation and intuition and we consider it as the rational function. So according to Jung, every person has a dominant life attitude and a primary function that characteristics uh, that that contributes to his or her personality. So, uh, every person they will have. Some, every person will have a first is one life attitude will be the at the same time a primary function is primary function will also be the and these constitute the personality of the uh, person. Uh, it is based on uh, four psychological functions. First is and then thinking type versus feeling type. Thinking type and feeling type or thinking type versus feeling type. So what, what do you mean by uh, thinking type versus feeling type? So it is something, it is a rational function. So here thinking type, thinking type in the remember the actions are based on reason. That means, in the particular under the car in China, they start thinking very uh, deep at an in depth thinking will happen. That is, they start analyzing the situation, then only uh, they start thinking in a critical way, then only they will come to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. So, these type of people, uh, their actions are based on reason. If I behave in such a way, so what will be the result? They start thinking like that. Hmm? So this, uh, that is the thinking type. But the other category that is a feeling type. Thinking type versus feeling type. About thinking type. So will you please wait for one minute. I'll come back within one minute. Okay. Uh, so uh, what is the first category? First is. Thinking versus feeling type. And what is the second category? Second category is sensation. Sensation versus intuition. 
compensation versus induction. Hmm? Uh, so here, when we talk about uh, uh, thinking, thinking means what is the main feature? Thinking that the actions are based on reason. The actions are based on reason. That means, and then actions are based on reason. So they start thinking critically. Uh, before they come to a conclusion or before they act, they start uh, analyzing the situations very thoroughly. Then only they come to a uh, um, come to a conclusion or they, then only they will react. So we can say that thinking type actions are based on reason. Is it clear? Thinking type. Then next is a feeling type. What is feeling type? Feeling types act on what is in their heart. Think with your brain, not with your heart. Hmm? So that is called the feeling type. We tell you, and then a manasilib or a sympathy, a language, empathy, to the kind they will react it. Hmm? So that is called the feeling time because uh, they uh, they are based feeling times they are giving too much importance to the emotion. That is, they think with the brain, not with the they think with the heart, not with the brain. Okay, so that is called the feeling type. Is it clear? The first thing, thinking type versus feeling type. Clear I am talking about the Carl Jung's personality type. Is it clear? Yes, this is intuition, and uh, next is uh, sensation versus. Sorry, this is uh, in not intuition. Yes, uh, sensation versus uh, intuition. That is uh, sensation type means what is sensation type? Sensation type it is uh, led by external sensory stimuli. Hmm? Se external sensory stimuli because in the carrying a kandagarina uh, it will affect them because they are giving too much importance to the sense organs because we receive all the stimulus through our sense organs um, uh, here the sensation type it is led by the external sensory stimuli but on the other hand what about the intuitive type intuitive type is led by um, undefinable internal feelings or we can say that intuition means uh, it is based on the internal feeling but the uh, sensational chin it is based it gives too much importance to the sense organs but uh, intuitive type means it gives more importance to the internal feeling is it clear Hmm. So, according to Carl Jung, Carl Jung is the categorization. According to Carl Jung, life attitude is always dominant. For example, uh, introversion. So, the attitude towards the life that is very important. So, uh, uh, Jung first introduced the personality type in his book called the psychological types and he used four psychological functions so here that is the four in the parayana the one is thinking the uh, second is feeling type the third is a uh, sensation and the fourth is intuition um, so and also he mentioned that every person has a dominant life attitude and primary function a hmm? dominant life attitude at the same time in the other primary function then he um, categorized the type into four that is dendritana classified sorry dendritana but four classifications are the what is the first classification thinking type feeling type sensation and intuition hope it is clear hmm? The next is the Mayer's Briggs uh, personality type. Mayer's Briggs personality type. Uh, this typology it is based on the psychological preferences. It is based on what psychological preferences. Uh, then um, that is what do you mean by the psychological preferences? Psychological preferences means uh, how. Pe people perceive the world and make decision. 
that is very important so uh, in um, mayor bricks uh, type uh, there are four categories four categories it include uh, introversion extroversion you please write down introversion extroversion four categories are the next is uh, sensing intuition sensing intuition third is thinking feeling thinking feeling then last is about the judging judging perception so this is about the mayor's bricks types so he uh, identified four categories so what are the four categories um, extroversion intro extroversion introversion then sensing intuition thinking feeling and judging perception mm. so to find out the personality type he introduced mayer's briggs type indicator so he uh, mentioned about a type indicator so nena pettana onnu parnu vidam idinde oro category enginana so introversion extroversion means uh, the first it is considered as the first pair of style and it is concerned with the direction of your energy mm. that means whether you are interested in uh, preference toward uh, inner world or outer world hmm? so that is your preference towards uh, inner world like ano outer world like ano what is your preference so this is one uh, one style according to mayer brick then second is sensing intuition it is uh, concerned with the uh, type of information you process hmm? mainly sensing intuition means it is the type of information you process that means sensing means you prefer to deal with facts what you know or to have a clarity or to describe what you see ഒരു കാര്യം കണ്ടു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അതിനെ കുറിച്ചിട്ട് എന്റെ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് കിട്ടാനായിട്ടാണോ നോക്കുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് സെൻസിങ് ടൈപ്പ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദെൻ ഇൻട്യൂഷൻ മീൻസ് യു പ്രിഫർ ടു ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ഐഡിയാസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു അൺ നോൺ ആൻഡ് ഓർ യു സംടൈംസ് യു ജൻ ട്രൈ ടു ജനറേറ്റ് ന്യൂ ഐഡിയാസ് ഓർ പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾ ദ ഇൻട്യൂഷൻ അപ്പോ അതായത് ഒരു ടേബിൾ ആക്ച്വലി ദർ ഇസ് വൺ ടേബിൾ ഫോർ ദിസ് ഓൺലി ബൈ ലുക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ടേബിൾ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ഐഡിയ അത് കാരണം എനിക്കത് എങ്ങനെ നിങ്ങൾക്കത് പറഞ്ഞ് മനസ്സിലാക്കി തരണ്ടേ എന്ന് ഐ എം നോ ക്ലിയർ അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് എനി വേ യു ജസ്റ്റ് ഇത്രയും മാത്രം ഒന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കുക ഇൻട്രോവേർഷൻ എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ എന്താണ് you know what introversion is whether the person is interested in looking at the outer world outer world means that is extroversion some people will be interested in looking into their introvert inter, inner world hmm? that means they like to be in with themselves only hmm? they doesn't like to mingle with others so that category called as the extroversion then what is sensing sensing means uh, there are a group of people who prefer to deal with the facts Hmm? or when they come across with a situation they want to uh, get the clear clarity to have a clarity or if when they see something they want to uh, uh, get a detailed description about what they see so th those people of cat th those people we call as the sensing people hmm? any next is the intuition what do you mean by intuition intuition means the people who come under this category they always prefer to deal with ideas that means they try to get uh, the details regarding the unknown some factors uh, facts will not be known to them so the, the, we consider them as unknown facts and they try to get details regarding the unknown and uh, always they try to find the new ideas or they try to generate the possibilities for the uh, particular problem so that type of people we call as the intuition then next is uh, what is the second category thinking and feeling what is thinking thinking means when a problem comes in front of them what they do they uh, use their logical sense or as i mentioned earlier they are very analytical or 
uh, critical in that particular aspect then only uh, depending upon their analytical thinking they react but uh, what uh, feeling means what uh, the, the people who come under the feeling category they prefer to decide using values so how they react they depend on they have some we all have some values so the people who come under the feeling they always take decision or they prefer to decide using the values which they keep in their mind that is on the basis of what or who you believe is important so they give more importance to the values <clears throat> then next is the judging Uh, judgment or a perception. So this refers to the type of lifestyle you adopt. What do you mean by judging? Hmm? If you uh, that is, uh, if you feel uh, confused or or some some sometimes uh, uh, in your life, everything you want to be go in a planned way. That means uh, when you do an activity or when you uh, get engaged in a work, you. are well planned or the things uh, are well structured so you like to go in that way so that we call as the judging so that people they have some judgment so that they will be highly they uh, uh, their life will be highly planned and they go in a well structured manner so that type of people are considered as judging or they are very judgmental in their life and next category that is the perception that is uh, if you uh, there are a group of people who prefer to go with flow that is they maintain flexibility and uh, at the same time we can say that they respond to things as they arise they take things as they come so that is called the uh, perception style okay so um Uh, these are the main four categories according to meyer briggs type extraversion introversion sensing intuition thinking uh, thinking feeling and uh, judging perception is it clear idu ini onnu vaichu okkal kore manasilagum ningalku text la the detailed aayittu koduthittunde and uh, here i have written uh, one name that is uh, phineas gage have you heard of this name phineas gage Phineas Gage, get it under. No, ma'am. Oh, okay, Phineas Gage. What are you saying? Have you heard of phrenology? Phrenology, get it under. Phrenology means it is a actually it is a pseudo science because I mentioned in the introductory part uh, um, in psychology it is considered as a scientific science subject and uh, we need scientific evidence. But uh, phrenology it is considered as a uh, um, pseudo science. It is you just uh, look what is phrenology and uh, now I will um, just uh, mention about um, Phineas Gage. It is the name of a person. and actually it is a, uh, he is a um, uh, he is a man uh, actually during i think during the 18th century uh, 19th century uh, this uh, man he unfortunately met with an accident and this accident changed him a lot so uh, you know what happened that is he was a railroad uh, construction worker and his name is phineas gage and um, what happened was uh, nearly a big uh, during his uh, work working hours uh, he met as i mentioned he met with an accident that is a 6 kg iron rod launched into the his uh, left cheek and it went penetrated to his head um through his head and out the other side that is ee uh, oru railroad constructor ayirunnu appo jooli cheyidondirikkunna samayathu oru 6 kilos ullu oru iron rod ee brain idile tarachittu adu penetrate cheyidu ee cheek inde idile porthekku vannu you just uh, um, imagine the situation but uh, he survived the incident but after that he showed some physical ailments first uh, he had some blind uh, blindness then uh, uh, speech was little bit slurred angana kore changes okke undayirunnu but uh, his uh, the major thing is that his friends reported that 
after this incident his personality has completely changed hmm? uh, the things like that uh, he could not keep appointments he showed uh, disrespect for others and uh, finally he uh, died and this uh, why this name is very important is that this is considered as the first case that was widely recognized as the clear evidence which shows there is a link between the physical brain and personality but now we development of personality padichu pa pala karyangal parnu le physiological factors angana physiological factors psychological factors environmental factors physical things and the parnu appo it is said that there is a connection between personality that is between the personality and the physical brain adayathu personality nammude brain um thammile valiya oru connection undu adu ee oru incident ne sheshamana adu koodalayittu adine kuriche study cheyan thodangiyathu adana that is why this name is very important when we study the personality that is what is the name phineas gage endana sambhavichathu he is actually a railroad constructor construction uh, construct construction worker and uh, he met with an accident that is uh, an iron rod um, it penetrated during when he was working the iron rod penetrated uh, his brain and it came out the to his uh, left cheek and what happened he survived the incident but he showed many changes in his behavior apart from the physical ailments physical ailments is initially night blindness pinna kore oru adha netil adichu eduthukke ariyan pettu kore physical ailments and i am remembering only one thing that is about the physical uh, that is about the night blindness sorry bl blindness then what happened uh, the friends reported that after this incident his personality has completely changed and he, later he died but this incident it is uh, this uh, finis cage incident it is considered as the first case that is widely recognized as the clear evidence which shows that there is a link between physical brain and personality so you please uh, refer this thing also so you get the more details regarding this uh, finis gage incident